Okay. This is uh, LDS and uh, Brother Franks is uh, headed home. He's here with a lot too, visiting me at my house for the last time. Yep. Sad so, day. I know it is. So, go ahead and start your monologue. What am I supposed to say? Whatever you feel in your heart. Brother Franks, I'm going home Tuesday, so two more days. It's my last day with Shane. It's a sad day. Shane's awesome. He's like Moroni almost. <laughs> and I think, oh, I think they should put a statue on a temple. Of me? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a sad day again. This Shane a lot. He's awesome. I just gave my final farewell talk today to you. Yeah. So, you did so to, good. Going back to Virginia. Tuesday. I'm going to miss you, man. You know, I'm going to put this on. I'll put this on uh, Facebook where you can, when you friends me, you can steal it or, <laughs> or YouTube it or whatever if you yeah. can have it. Yeah. If you'd like. And we got Mr. Lachi over here. Oh, no. We met these guys together and they brought me closer to God and saved my life. Yep. I feel like you guys saved my life. You guys saved my soul. Thank you. And uh, we do. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. You're awesome, man. You're awesome, dude. Yeah? I think you're the best. Nah. Your new mission is Elder Gantuga. Who? Elder Gantuga. He's Mongolia. He's all straight from Mongolia. Mongtukaluka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool though, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you met him? No, I have. You, you yeah. met him? Yeah. Like, oh, also I want to do this on tape. I, I was mentioning him during church. I think I met you. You were the Mormon I met two years ago in Hemet. Were you ever missionary on Devonshire and off of Florida on bike? That's where I was. Oh. That's where I met you. No way, dude. No way. I met you. You were the one I got the pamphlet from. Probably. That was you. And then you ended up. Meeting you. Dang. No way, that's no. so crazy. That's Devonshire. Florida. Devonshire is where I lived off of. Really? Yep. Devonshire right there, um, probably about a, a block from the mall, Hemet Valley Mall. That's no right. Way. That's where we went. What's your yeah, apartment complex? Where I lived off of Elk and Green Tree Apartments. Okay. Yeah, I know. And, um, but you didn't meet me there. You met me pretty much down the street from the mall walking along the sidewalk, and you were on a bike. Oh, sorry. Were you on a bike when you used to missionary there? I had the gold bike. Yeah. It was, I, I, I actually. Forgive me, Lord, for saying this. I said, look out, the Mormons are coming this way. Are you the one that said F Mormon? No, okay. I wouldn't say that. I, don't, I wouldn't say that to your face. Okay, someone said F Mormon. I don't have enough, I don't have enough uh, inside uh, me to say anything like ago? that. That was two years ago? That was two years ago. Was I was me. there. Was I was me. there from 2009, 2010, 2011. Dang, that was me. That was you. That's my area. We lived off Florida, and... Kirby. Yeah, I met you by on Devonshire. We left down apartments in Florida and Lyon. And you worked down that street, right? It was close to Lyon. Mm -hmm. It was walking down the sidewalk. Yeah. And there and you stopped your bike right there on Devonshire and started talking to us. And then I ended up having my missionary be you. That's and you crazy. came and sought me out out of nowhere. That is crazy. And ended up being my 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 elder. Dang. So this is an awesome testimony Dang. for me and I and I kinda have a feeling it was you when you told your story up there and you said you started off in Hammond on a bicycle. And uh, I just found that out, so I was like, I I thought I told you guys. No, I met some you. Mormons in Hemet. No, you didn't tell us. I didn't tell you, huh? Dang. It was Mr. Franks. Dang, and another guy. I think it was two white guys. I don't know. Who's your, who'd you work with? Two white? Two, yeah. yeah, another two, white guy. Two white boy Mormons. Do you remember what the other one was like? At all? I just remember one of them was real young, white dude, pretty good looking. I don't know. I didn't stare too long. <laughs> <laughs> No, but he, the, they approached us on the bikes, they stopped the bikes and said, can we talk to you for a minute, can you share a word with you, and then he gave me like a pamphlet, mm -hmm. or, you know, something, he didn't give me a book of Mormon, but he gave me something, pamphlet, yeah, right. a pamphlet, and then um, I was walked down the street, I was, um, had been maybe lost in my own world or whatever, wasn't ready, mm -hmm. and then it was just awesome and a blessing that it ended up being you. Did we leave our names on the pamphlet or no? It would have been awesome if I still had that. Yeah, I know. Because there's, there's someone, another missionary, I gave him a pamphlet, someone wrote my name on it, uh, or a number. Other missionaries, like, started teaching him, and he, like, it's like, oh, it's a missionary, like, a year ago, gave me this pamphlet with great. That, my name on it. You're awesome. The missionary's like, dang. Like, so you succeeded in your first attempt, and, um, and I wasn't having, hearing nothing you had to say, and I was bitter and stupid, and self-loving of this world, and and thank God that I ran back into you guys, and uh, 
So, so that's a strong the, testimony. You used to teach people in the Green Tree Apartments. <laughs> that's where I lived, Green Tree Apartments. Yeah. Did you know any Tanayas? Or? That's funny, because I think I was walking with Latasha at the time, the black girl that I had ended up having a baby with, uh -huh. my daughter. Dang. Yeah. I can't say I remember you guys. And you don't remember me, and I didn't remember it was you either. I only met you that one little pit stop on, on Devonshire. Yeah, we talked to a lot of people. Right? Yeah, you were out doing missionary work on the on a, on a bicycle with another guy. Yeah. Yeah, so, and that was like two years ago. Dang. Almost. So you lived in, I knew, yeah, there's a Tanaya and a Kaya that lives in the green tree that we taught. I don't know if you know them. Is that Bakaya? No, <laughs> Tanaya, <laughs> Mathis. Yeah. yeah. So, you're awesome. Is there anything that you want to say in closing in respect to, like, you're not going to see me anymore and that what what you would say? Maybe can you close in, like, a small blessing prayer for me? Like, your last prayer for me? Uh -huh. for, for strength and prosperity and, like, succeeding my baptism and you that you're not able to finish up with because you have to go. Maybe all God's blessings be upon you, Shane, and and continue to prepare yourself for baptism. And I know God will help you prepare. I think it's going to be really soon. So. That's awesome. So do you think I'll have the power of Moroni inside me? Yeah, everyone can. Do you think Joseph Smith will bless my baptism? No. <laughs> no? No. no. So Joseph Smith doesn't wouldn't like to see me get baptized? He would. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, is there anything that you can give me as a helpful hint or reminder to stay focused on? Just read you know. your scriptures every day. Pray every day. Okay. That's the main thing. And I hope you get married to your sweetheart. Yeah. And you love He's so much. Are you getting married? No. Yeah, he is. No, no. In August. Are you going to invite me to your wedding? You better Facebook me. I will. I will. <laughs> you send the invite when he gets home. That's awesome. Is he really? You're getting married? No. I don't know. Eventually. But You're gonna go home and check it out and see if she's fat, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's a timetable for it, though. I love you, dude. You're an awesome, brother. You're love an awesome you too, elder, man. awesome missionary, and, and congratulations on finishing and completing your goal. Thank you. You can cross that off the list now. Right? <laughs> yeah. I love you too, Shane. I love you. And Lati here, who's extra special with his Thanks. partner in crime, or actually partner in God's love. Sidekick. Sidekick. And then. If you guys could for me one time, give me a little little breakdown on your on your homie talk. Yeah. How you talk to to people that try to understand the word of God but they can't quite get it. So you say what? Oh snap! Oh snap! So what do you say? His homies. Oh snap! You saw this guy and his homies. They did a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. And then then they had to change up their stuff because they were getting in, in messing up and yeah. they said oh snaps. Uh -huh. When they saw the angel, they were like, oh, snap. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. All right. I just want to close this out and say I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, guys.